Today, we're going to talk about Ruckus Intent AI. This is a new framework that's available for customers that utilize Ruckus AI through either smart zone integration or with Ruckus One. Intent AI encompasses the AI-driven configuration features that have been found in previous versions of Ruckus AI. It still includes AI-driven cloud RRM, AI operations, and we have a new intent called Equiflex. What do we mean by intent? In the previous version of Ruckus AI, the system would make recommendations that could then be pushed out as configuration changes. Intent AI is going to ask a few more questions up front to understand what the purpose is for the network. Perhaps maybe you want to have a higher client density versus a higher client throughput. It's going to ask you what the intent is up front so that you can compare and contrast the differences in those selections. We're still performing automatic configurations. However, as we're going to explore in each of these three categories, some of the options from the previous iteration of Ruckus AI's recommendations have changed. From the dashboard, we can see our intent AI panel as well as our intents. Now, if we hover each of these intents, we can get a little more information about them. So AI-driven RRM is the idea of throughput versus client density. Uh, Equiflex is the time to connect versus client density and AI operations is about optimizing our network based off of key performance indicators. Again, we're going to take a look at each one of these intents in additional videos. We also have some statistical information that's shown right on the dashboard. The orange bubbles are showing how many new intents are available. So a new intent is something that the system has looked at and is saying, hey, we think we can make a, a change here. But as an administrator, we haven't done anything. We haven't went down the path. We haven't picked anything. We've not made any configuration changes. Uh, the blue hyperlinks are showing the intents that are active. So we have looked at them. We have made some selections and we have asked the system to go ahead and do the configuration and it's continuously monitoring. Now, if we click on each of these, we can be taken directly into the intent AI table and it's going to filter um, for either type. So we can click on these and get an Equifax only view of the table an AI driven RRM view of the table. Or if we click on these blue hyperlinks, we can be taken to the three intents that are active for AI driven RRM. Now, everything that we're seeing on this dashboard is based off of this filter in the top right. So if we were looking at a specific zone, uh, you, you know, you would see that filtered and it would only show intents for that zone uh, and things like that. Additionally, if we wanted to get to intent AI, uh, we can do that from the left menu as well under AI assurance intent AI. Before we jump into looking into these intents, the last thing that I want to mention in this video is that we have notifications for these intents. So you can go into your profile notifications and you can turn on or off the uh, status change notifications. So if you want to be notified uh, when an intent changes, come in here and turn that on and make sure you save it. 